Uh, for now, we uh, we, well, we have this force, so we can't deal with that right now if we uh, if we so choose to. I think we will. So we'll get our guys to start marching as soon as they come into Rome. Yeah, that's going to that's going to solve one of our problems. And we'll get our fleets to uh, come back here, and our fleets will push forward. Auto resolve. I want to capture or destroy both their fleets. Oh yes, one fleet down. Can we do two? Captured quite a lot of the enemy uh, people, so we'll enslave them. Still have a good wind. Ready for orders. And that'll be uh, that'll be the end of there. Perfect. Hmm. Recruit an agent. Okay, well, um, there's really not much we can do this turn except for improve the uh, provincial improvements. So I think we'll do that, I, I suppose. Um, actually, probably not going to upgrade the Shrine of Mercury just yet because that's a, that's a hefty investment. And it'll actually lower the amount of food that we gain per turn, so probably not do that. I think what I'll do is that in Rome I'll build a auxiliary camp, which will unlock, uh, which will make it so that we can build some more troops, including war dogs, which is pretty cool. And it looks like that's actually the only thing that we can afford uh, for now. Over there, build a. Uh, I'll build a. I'll build a herding ground over here. Uh, we can upgrade the villa farms to either herding grounds or farms. Farms produce agriculture and uh, herding grounds cost a little bit more, but they uh, they produce livestock, which actually double the wealth of the uh, the improvement as opposed to the uh, as opposed to the farm here. But the farm produces more food, so I think I'll go with the herding ground because we're not short on food right now. And well, uh, let's see. Let's see. We can issue an edict. So we'll uh, we'll see how what that is all about. So issue provincial edicts. We'll see what uh, what we'll see what we can do. Uh, we can do tax harvesting. We can increase. Uh, we can do breaded games. We can do provincial or commercial stimula stimulation. We can also do romanization. So um, if we do tax harvesting, it will increase our tax. Bread and games will increase food and public order, making that rather handy uh, in a time where your your provinces are uh, kind of kind of uh, in decline. Commercial stimulation makes it so that our uh, yeah it makes the provinces generate more income, and the Romanization will make it so that barbarian um, cultures are more uh, more in integrated into ours and it'll lower the auxiliary cost. Well, it is Rome, so I think I'll go with the bread and games uh, section. And uh, really, actually, you know what, we could do tap, no, we'll, we'll do bread and games, and the reason we're doing that is because I, I kind of see it as, oh wait, no, we can change it over time, so it'll be fine. I thought it were permanent. <laughs> But we'll edict, uh, we'll do that edict, and over here, I guess we'll level up the general as well, so we'll give him a plus one to authority. And he actually has quite a few traits too. He has a thin scald, homely, and uh, sanguine, unfortunately, which actually lowers his authority down to one, which is uh, which isn't good. But he has very very high other stats, so maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll make up for it, right? Um, we can also do a few other things on assigned skills and uh, bah. We hunger for battle. I guess we'll assign the fleet some other stuff too. So the fleet can uh, gain a tradition. So we'll get them to uh, to do destroyers, which will increase uh, the firing capacity of their heavier ships, and we will. Uh, we will get this admiral to do. Uh, To become an admiral, I suppose, which will increase his authority on uh, on sea, and it'll increase or uh, lower the recruitment cost of his troops, and we'll do something like that.
Okay, there we go. So physical conditioning is done. We can do another research thing. So I think I'll do land management now. Ooh, population surplus, construction complete. Uh, some more stuff happened. Hmm, perfect. So let's see. There's still one army roaming about our rear that we have to uh, we'd have to deal with. Uh, what I think Ready I'll do here orders. is that uh, the public, the public, uh, public order is going up in Rome now, so that is uh, we're, it's going up in we Italia, which is good. Battle. So what I think I'll do is uh, no, I'm probably going to have to use a legion to uh, to get rid of these guys. So instead of Machinabel, I'm going to get the forces at uh, at Rome That's proper to. I think I'll get them to board up boats, and I think I'll get them to uh, make a press up into the last holding of of the uh, Waiting for a new of that the league over here, the Tristian League here. So we'll get one group of uh, troops to do that, and this Come army on. right here, I think we'll get them to march onto for that army. And honor! And I do believe that'll be the, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this turn, I suppose. Or no, we still have a lot of money to spend. So let's get a few provincial improvements going on. Let's build a few, uh, let's build a few harbors. I'm going to build a, uh, a harbor in Neapolis. And over here, when we get the chance, I think I'll build a, uh, a farming uh, port or some or not a farming port, but a fishing port. And something, uh, something like that to increase our money supply. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, port settlement under siege and some uh, some stuff happened right there. So in uh, Brunsistium, um, the hammers of Sethians has uh, actually That's laid siege to my uh, little town here. Rather unfortunate. That so we're going to get our legion to um, to just kind of deal Any with man. them here uh can i upgrade this shrine up here without any problems um let's see what i think i'll do is that i'll get our Is navy to start to see these guys right here and we will get them to form a blockade None shall pass. and we'll get our land le uh, legion to uh to land aboard the shore over here Drop. Anchor. Returning to shore. So just like that, that will uh, deal with the problems over there. Here, hmm, what can we do? I'll increase uh, one of these towns, and we'll build a. Uh, I think I'll build another temple. So we'll get that down, and we'll also build uh, some more provincial improvements over here. Whenever we can, really. Okay. Here we are. It appears that we've suffered some attrition damage, and uh, well, again, more construction, more uh, improvements, and more uh, stuff happened. So, this turn we're probably going to have to fight two battles, one with the Hammers of Cessalands, and we might actually see a port invasion, so uh, we'll see that how that is a goes. Course. Your orders? Let's, uh, let's go get with the port invasion first. So we'll get two of our forces to deploy... Um, huh. Yeah, I think I'll get two of our forces to deploy onto boats, and they will... They will land aboard the town and really uh, move forward from there. In the meantime, our uh, our ground forces will just slowly appear through the battle, and uh, well, we'll see how that goes.
All right, let us deploy and see how this goes. So yeah, our troops are going to be arriving primarily by sea. And in the meantime, we start off with our navy, which is uh, three boats in strength. And our objective is going to uh, be taking this place. So now, my uh, I have a feeling the best thing that we could do is uh, probably stall up their navy for now with our navy. And as our troops come aboard the map, we will get them to deploy onto the fields, I suppose. Look at those ships go, wow. Big transport boats. So yeah, their troops are probably all inside the city, just kind of waiting around. And they have a lot of these mobs and levy slingers and stuff that won't be uh, all too much of a threat. Now our forces are, well, I would say they're fairly, uh, they're fairly even. And we can do really two things here. We can get our troops to just kind of land onto the, uh, the open areas over here. And really um, deploy, then meet our uh, meet our foes in battle. But I'm going to go for a little bit of a battle deployment, just right on into the middle of them, um, just for the sake of having some fun. So let's see how this goes. Get two of our uh, navies to move around. Doesn't look like uh, their navy is doing anything. Oh, they're getting their boats and they're actually deploying them on land. So smart idea, they're getting their troops off of their boats and put back onto the land. They're trying to contest this beach with their Italian spearmen. And what I think I'll do is that I'll get our uh, little boats to make a little bit of a strafing run like that. And we'll really see how that goes. Support ships at your command. Proud Romans all. Our missiles await your orders. So let's see, let's see if we can, uh, yeah, give them some type of order to do something like that. I want these boats to just kind of bank in here and take a few pot shots at their uh, spearmen and then disappear. They're, uh, I can't actually find, oh wait, no, their slingers are up here, so um, they're inside the back. So they probably won't be able to help out uh, so long as we do this right. Give way! Do something like that. Nice little bit of boating action here. Quick reload. Ready. Quick reload active, so they should be able to reload a little bit faster. At your command. Support ships. And yeah, they're going to start uh, pummeling the shore with some uh, javelins now. How are our boats doing? Let's take a look from their perspective. Really getting those things into their middle lines, which is uh, pretty good, I would say. I mean, these shipborne guys, we can always replace them. They're fairly cheap, but I want to keep my Hestadi alive, so... Um, the more that we take out with our boats here, the more the better. Our ships are slightly slanted for some reason, from the looks of it. Well, now they're fine, but uh, inside this panel, they, they look like they're like, yeah, at a stilt angle, so I don't really know what's up with that. But yeah, they are making a muckery out of them over there. Now let's get the transports ready. Two right there, two right here. And we'll get the levees, uh, the leaves. Um, inside the second wave. These guys are getting dwindled down, so that is absolutely perfect. We're starting to run out of ammunition, though. These guys are trying to keep their shields up, and they're just getting—they're just getting pummeled by uh, by the guys over there. You know, I wonder if I can use these transport ships as uh, as these ships because we do have some leaves on these transport ships, right? So I mean, if they can bank in close enough, I hope I can use them as well as uh, as combat naval vessels. Transports ready for order. Transport ships. Oh my god, I can. They have firing ranges. Okay, in that case, we will we'll keep these boats over here and uh at in kind of like a reserve 
formation. And I'll get these guys to come in here to make another run uh, at the enemy, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, these guys are almost out of ammunition. Yeah, there we go. So we'll pull them out. And we'll see what they've uh, put up here. So it looks like we've broken one squad of Italian uh, spearmen already. Now they're putting mobs up. So now it's the transport ships is his type time. Just like that. Transport ships at your command. Transports ready for orders. Support ships ready. Let's see this in action. So these guys are gonna bank in. They, uh, well, they should be in firing range already. Yeah, there we go. These transport ships are actually, from the looks of it, more effective. Transport ships. Transports ready for orders. No, fire at will, fire at will, fire at will. Yeah, well, they're being pre uh, preoccupied with those guys. Our legionaries are coming up on shore, assembling their forces. Gives us strength. And let's get them moving. Uh, let's get them into the fight while these guys are kind of preoccupied getting uh, cut down. thing here is that they keep these uh, spearmen in line so we should only be encountering uh, mobs and uh, levy levies over here so this is going to be nice Okay, I think it's time to lift up the uh, the blockade fleet right here. So these guys are going to pull off the shore. And those guys are going to come up shore off the shore to help our uh, land forces out here. Having some trouble keeping uh, these guys off. Let's see how this goes. Flanking force comes. Pestati. Nice little infantry drop in the middle of uh, this area, right at the flank of our enemy. Forward. Bam, right into the flank. Put these Italian spearmen inside the uh, the chokehold now, just right between two uh, two squads of these guys. Yeah, that column's just going to get butchered now. Now that they try to uh, now that they try to run. Oh, this is a terrible camera angle. But yeah, any one of those guys are going to just get absolutely devastated. 
just get picked off one by one. Again, brilliant victory. Massive uh, enemy losses. Um, I'm playing at the normal difficulty, and so far, I mean, it isn't, um, 